So what up SOS family? So some of you calisthenic enthusiasts such as myself could you know be doing your push-ups, your dips, your pull-ups, your rows, etc. And then after a few months you're like, yo Simon, this is getting a little bit too easy bro. I need some help. I'm trying to build some muscle mass while I'm doing some calisthenics. But I don't want to go to that dreadful gym like everybody else, eating pizza at Planet Fitness, losing all my gains and getting fat. So Simon, I need your help. What can I do to continuously build more muscle and also build more strength because that strength over size is you know that's what we're all about here you guys are wondering what can i do to to to, to increase the intensity increase the difficulty of my exercises uh, so that i can continuously do calisthenics without going to the dreadful gym but you came to the right person so let me give you some tips to help you stay on your calisthenics grind so tip number one and possibly the most obvious add weight now there are calisthenics accessories that you can go and buy online on amazon at some fitness shops online whatever it may be there are some calisthenics equipment that you can buy or accessories that you can buy that will help you increase the intensity for your exercises now possibly the most obvious one of them all and honestly to me the most versatile is the weighted vest the weighted vest is honestly just a must-have in anybody's calisthenics uh, accessory collection you can get it off Amazon get it off anywhere uh, trust me when I say it is possibly the only thing that you would need in calisthenics if you're trying to increase the weight uh, for your exercises it goes over your shoulders and some people will get some shoulder pain the heavier the the vest goes but again when it comes to versatility just go through the pain it's just like if you're squatting when you're doing back when you're doing back squats it's gonna hurt your 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 shoulders a bit or your traps a bit but you get used to it you're able to use the calista you're able to use the weighted vest for your pull-ups your dips your push-ups your squats your rows pretty much any exercise that doesn't require you going upside down or rotating around the bars you can use your weighted vest so honestly I would absolutely recommend you guys get those you could get a dip belt right but a dip belt isn't as versatile it could really only be used for doing dips and pull-ups but if you're trying to do squats or you're trying to do uh, uh, push-ups a dip belt obviously wouldn't work there's ankle weights but again ankle weights it only it only attaches to your ankles so it's really only good when you're lifting your foot off the ground but when it comes to the, the, the weighted vest honestly it is a must-have and the most you should ever really have to spend on the weighted vest is probably 150 160 bucks which is pretty much what I spent on my weighted vest which is five to hundred pounds so honestly, go, go out and get you a way to invest if you're really serious about actually trying to increase the intensity in your calisthenics workouts. Now there could be some of you guys out there, you kids who are like 14 years old, you can't, who doesn't really have a job, your parents won't give you the money to get the way to invest because they didn't want to invest in their children, which is so sad. <laughs> For those of you out there who just cannot obtain access to any type of calisthenics accessories the second thing that i would recommend when exercises are getting really easy is to increase the time of your attention so if you're trying to do push-ups for example and you're already able to do 20 in one set and you're like yo this is getting too easy what can i do simon to make this a little bit harder without adding weight time under tension so you're going to do each rep pretty slow i would say three seconds down three seconds up that's a max that's like the max time under tension i would say that you re you would really need or you could go like three seconds down one second up right so increasing the time that you take to do a rep will then increase the intensity trust me if you could do 50 uh 50 reps of push-ups in one set uh just bur like bursting them out blasting them out then doing them really slowly trust me you will not hit 50 reps and you will start to feel the tension in your chest and then the last tip I could give you guys if you do not have any weights to add or you don't really want to keep doing the time and attention is to use different variations of these exercises that you're doing because obviously if one exercise is getting really easy to you for example the basic push-up then more than likely you have developed the strength to do a harder variation of the push-up such as the assisted one-arm push-up or possibly doing the pseudo planche push-up right or if you're doing pull-ups you can start doing archer pull-ups or typewriters or you can start doing you know uh freaking handstand push-ups on the wall there's so many different variations you can do in calisthenics to increase the intensity for those basic exercises that have just become so easy to you now typically in my workouts i don't actually throw out the basic exercises that have become easy to me i just throw them at the end of my circuit because when i do calisthenics training i train by doing circuits not by doing one exercise at a time so pretty much what i do is i start with my hardest exercise which would typically let's say the pike push-up for a push day 
I'll start off with a pike push-up, right? And then I will start, then I will move on over to doing dips, so regular parallel bar dips. Then I can move on over to doing single bar dips. Then I will move down to doing pseudo planche push-ups. And then I will finish off with some basic push-ups. Because if I started off with the basic push-ups, it will be too easy. But ending off with the basic push-ups, it is a struggle just to complete 10 reps after doing four other push exercises. Now doing it the other way around will not be optimal because by the time you make it to the pike push-up at the end and start off easy with the basic push-up, then more than likely you will not be able to complete the pike push-up uh, the pike push -up, and you will just you will just lose out on so, so many gains by just by just layering your workouts incorrectly. So start off with your hardest thing and then finish off with the easiest thing and therefore you're able to increase the volume and, and really just get that time under tension for, your, for the muscle group that you're training without even adding weight and without consciously having to put uh, time under tension under each rep. So just trust and believe what I'm saying is true because hey, I am proof. I started off at one, 140 pounds, I looked like crap, and this is pretty much what I did to achieve the body that I have now, and I'm not even done yet. So, again, I hope this helps y'all. Please stay blessed, okay? Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below more videos you'd like to see so I can help you. You guys can even send me questions, personal questions if you like, for me to help you out too. So anyway, stay blessed. I am out of here. Done.